Oh man. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you the clip on this phone, exactly what Fauci said um, over the weekend. He went on the show, Face the Nation. He was asked about Christmas. You guys might have seen burblings, bubblings about this um, in the news. And his response drew tons and tons and tons of criticism. In fact, it was all over the Twitter sphere and all over the Twitterverse and everywhere else that people were basically bashing Fauci. OK, now, you know, I'm a Fauci fan, but I'm we're talking objectively right here. I want you to, I want I want to know what you guys think if what he said uh, was wrong. And so basically, let me play you the clip. OK, and then you tell me what you think. Hold on. It's always much safer than indoors, and you are indoors. Hold on. Ventilation is going to be key, and that's the reason why we can really see this? paying attention to that. But we can gather for Christmas, or it's just too soon to tell? You know, Margaret, we, it's just too soon to tell. We've just got to concentrate on continuing to get those numbers down and not try yeah. to jump ahead by weeks or months and say what we're going to do at a particular time. Let's focus like a laser on continuing to get those those cases down and we can do it by people getting vaccinated and also in the situation where boosters are appropriate to get people boosted because we know that they can help greatly in diminishing infection and diminishing advanced disease the kinds of data that are now accumulating in real time the president announced nearly a month okay. ago okay y'all heard that hold up i'm not gonna play the whole thing but i want you to hear the beginning the, the issue that people took specifically was what he said when he was asked about Christmas. She asked, can we get together for Christmas? I want you to hear it again because I want to know what you think. And I'm trying to pull you guys up on my other laptop. If you are indoors, ventilation okay. is going to be the last question. Okay. The reason why this is coming up. Really Listen right here. Attention to that. But we can gather for Christmas or it's just too soon to tell. You know, Margaret, we, it's just too soon to tell. We've just got to concentrate on continuing to get those numbers down and not try yeah. to jump ahead by weeks or months and say what we're going to do at a particular time. Let's focus like a laser on continuing to get those, those cases down. And we can do it by people getting vaccinated and also in the situation where boosters are appropriate to get people boosted because we know that they can help greatly in diminishing infection and diminishing advanced disease, the kinds of data that are now accumulating in real time. The president announced nearly a month okay. ago that businesses y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. That's what he said. This was on Face the Nation. OK, and the backlash was Fauci is canceling Christmas. Fauci is canceling Christmas. That's literally what everybody was saying. I'm going to pull up another um, couple other things because I want us to talk about it. Um, and he got a ton of bash backlash for basically people were interpreting it that he was saying we should not um, be getting together for Christmas and that families should not be getting together for Christmas. I want to first of all know, what do you guys think? When you heard that clip, did you guys say, did you say, oh my God, he's canceling Christmas? You might have, you might not have. I want you to put in the comments what you actually think he was saying and how you felt about what he was saying and all this good stuff. OK, so while you write in the comments, because I want to know what you guys think about it. Um, I also, though, want to read what he said when he got a lot of pushback about it. Um, so let me do this right now. Hold on. OK, so let me read to you. Clearly, I'm not a tech person, but God, like the vice is everywhere. So this is what he says, because people were like going bananas. They were going bonkers saying, Fauci's canceling Christmas. And again, I want to know what you thought. Did he, did he cancel Christmas or did he not? OK, so while I'm waiting to get your responses, let me then read to you what Fauci said. OK, so about like basically, um, about um hold on hold on hold on hold on so he did issue sort of a not a rebuttal but just sort of a clarification he had a response to this okay and this has been published in a lot of articles today um and he says um uh Anthony Fauci said Monday, which is today, um, that his comments about it being too soon to tell whether it's safe to gather for Christmas were misinterpreted. 
and that he in fact encourages people to do so. He said the best way to assure that we'll be in good shape as we get into the winter would be to get more and more people vaccinated. He said that was misinterpreted as my saying, we can't spend Christmas with our families, which was absolutely not the case. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you what he says about what he's doing this Christmas. But so what do you guys think? I mean, um, I'm just looking at a couple of responses just to see what y'all are saying uh, on YouTube. Let's see here. It's all about safety. Becky says he was honest. Um, Coco says he didn't say we should cancel Christmas. He said it was too soon to tell. People are being crazy. Anna Marie says, I can't believe this. We are vaccinated. Yes, he did. Um, Becky says our behavior dictates what we do for Christmas. Let's see what you guys on Facebook are saying. Hold on. Let me just take a peek and see um, what you guys are saying, because I'm super curious here. Hold on. All right. People are not. Joanne said people are nuts. No, he said it was too early to tell. Bonnie says it's too soon to say. Psychethia, we should cancel Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, Patricia Fuller, you said, no, you didn't receive that. Um, Michelin Myers, you say, I think he's just saying it's premature to know whether it's safe to have large gatherings for Christmas. Um, Susan, you said, I agree. We need to do what we need to do. He's concentrating on getting the numbers down. Gosh, that's so interesting. You know, I, I really agree with you guys. Like, it's so interesting. I haven't always see all the comments, right? But like, I'm totally with you guys um, on this. And I, I really I'm looking forward to reading those of you who have comments that don't agree with this. But it seems like a lot of you actually agree with what Fauci is saying. Um, continue to let me know what you're you're saying. Because Kathy, you said, seems like he was saying it's too soon to tell. Eric, you said, I'm with Fauci. He has a point. That's how I took it as well. It's really interesting. If you Google Christmas and Fauci, a whole like crap storm of stuff pops up. It's all over. And there's a lot of sort of politicians and people that are saying, how are we going to cancel Christmas? He's crazy, blah, 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 blah. But I didn't take it as that. And it sounds like a lot of you didn't take it like that too. And by the way, those of you who think that, no, he was saying cancel Christmas, please go ahead and respond. Let me know. Uh, let us know why you feel that way. Just to go on to say, by the way, this is what he says he's going to do for Christmas himself. Um, this, by the way, is an article from The Hill when he sort of issued a rebuttal for all of this, he kind of got into trouble. And so he had to come back and sort of say all this stuff. He says, um, uh, like I said, that was misinterpreted as saying we can't spend Christmas with our families, which was absolutely not the case. He says, I will be spending Christmas with my family. I encourage people, particularly the vaccinated people who are protected to have a good normal Christmas with your family. I mean, that's kind of how I took it. And I'm agreeing with you guys. And again, I'm not posting this out here to be like, for us all to be like singing and singing in the same choir and all this stuff. But this is a really important thing to bring up because when I tell you the backlash that he, he always gets backlash. We know this. Fauci always gets backlash. But the backlash in particular he has received in the last couple of days for these Christmas comments where people seem to interpret that he was saying Christmas is canceled. I, I was like, whoa. This clearly is something we have to talk about because people are really coming at him hard. But I agree with you guys for the most part. He said it's too soon to tell. And I appreciate the fact that he's focusing on the importance of vaccination, that we need to get vaccinated, that we need to be focusing on doing what we need to do. And guys, remember, look, let me give you a good example of why I'm actually happy he said it's too soon to tell. First of all, if he had said, oh, we'll be able to be together for Christmas, not a problem. Let's say he said that and things changed, oh, you know, he would have been persecuted. He would have been crucified, right? Same thing is like, no need to wear masks. No, yes, wear masks. Like the same thing. If he had said, oh yeah, it shouldn't be a problem, blah, blah, blah. You know, he would have gotten into serious trouble if the time came and that wasn't the case and vice versa. But he has a really important point when he says that things could change. You know, remember my family, we were on vacation in, in June. We had another family vacation scheduled for September. We canceled that because just three months later, after June, um, Delta variant was here and we didn't feel it was safe to go. So things can change. So guys, for anyone that um, you know brings this up, I think that 
this is an important talking point. You guys have heard the actual clip yourself. A lot of you guys are asking about Thanksgiving, which you're right. Thanksgiving is before Christmas. It's a whole month before Christmas. Um, that's probably the holiday we need to be thinking about more than anything, right, is what's going to happen on Thanksgiving, which at this point is just like a month and a half away. So, um, you know, there are a lot of experts that are saying if you get rapid tests, if you make sure you're vaccinated, you test yourself right before you go and when you're with family, everybody's vaccinated, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. You're using hygiene practices that you should be okay. Um, you know, the CDC, I heard, is reissuing its holiday guidelines because they apparently posted the wrong um, guidelines. I noticed they posted them over the weekend. And I looked at them and I was like, wow, this seems kind of restrictive. So I actually didn't do a video on it yet, but it seems like the wrong ones were posted. So we'll have some updated guidelines soon. But um, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Um, I just think that, first of all, clearly you guys, um, we feel roughly the same way. I didn't hear anywhere here that he was saying Christmas is canceled. And for those people who are saying it is, I would love to hear why you think that and what you think about that and all that stuff, you know, um, like why you feel that way. So guys, we just have to wait to see, I think a little bit, but I don't really hear any experts actually saying, even Sanjay Gupta on CNN and other experts on different networks, not just CNN, are actually saying, hey, look, if you do this, 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 and this, you get vaccinated, everybody's vaccinated, you get, you get rapid tested, all this stuff, you know, you can spend time together. So um, I don't think we need to worry. Um, I do think that we need to also wait and see though, but it's also a push to get everybody vaccinated, which I think is very, very important. So um, I just wanted to bring that to your attention because it's kind of crazy, right? Oh my God, you should see the comments on Twitter. It's insane. Uh, by the way, for those of you on Facebook, thanks for joining me. Thank you for the stars and for all the comments. I so appreciate it. Um, and for YouTube, hey, YouTubers, it's good to see you guys. Um, I will say that it was kind of crazy. For those of you who watch this, um, this live on replay, um, and if it's not today, uh, you'll remember today because today was the day that Facebook and Instagram were down. Was that not the craziest thing to have like a whole day with no Facebook? I was like, what am I supposed to do? I couldn't post it, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't scroll. I couldn't comment. I was like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it was definitely a weird feeling. So it's really great to be back. And it's good to um, it's good to it's good to see you guys. A lot of you guys are getting the COVID vaccine um, in my comments, if, if in the pinned comment on Facebook, and then in the description of this video on YouTube is my group called "I Got the COVID Vaccine," so that you um, you can you can join the group and comment about getting the vaccine, what it was like. I also want to encourage parents of kids. I think there's probably a lot of parents that may be reluctant, even when the vaccine for five to eleven year olds are approved. Proved, I have a feeling that there's going to be a number, uh, a decent number of parents that are reluctant. I encourage you to do your research now. When I say do your research, I mean talk to your child's doctor now so that you can be prepared to give them the vaccine when it is time. The sooner everyone's vaccinated, the more likely we're going to be able to spend Thanksgiving and Christmas together. So that's really what we want. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, so. Also, want to also say some good news, which I always feel like sometimes I'm like Debbie Downer with the COVID news here. Some good news is that COVID cases do seem to be kind of coming down a little bit, which is wonderful. We just literally have to hope and pray that things stay that way. They will continue to be that way and will continue to uh, to uh, to do things uh, better. Actually, Di uh, Diana, you made it to medical school. Congratulations. You're taking a little break from studying. Um, well, congrats on med school. I love that. Oh my God. Um, yes. I am telling you med school is a, it's a trip, but uh, congratulations on making it. I love it. Congrats to you. Um, you deserve a study break and it's so good to see you. Um, but anyway, uh, just wanted to say that cases luckily are coming down a little bit. Thank goodness for that. We still have to remain vigilant, still have to be careful. Careful. I'm just praying that we're going to get out of this sooner rather than later because it's downright depressing, y'all. But um, we will we will make it. So, all right. It sounds like you guys have um, you guys have weighed in. If I were literally taking a poll, I would have to say that most of you agree that Fauci did not say um, that he was canceling Christmas because I don't think most of us took it that way. Um, but like I said, um, and those of you who are saying that, that the vaccine does not stop the spread of, of COVID, you're just reading the latest bit of misinformation from somewhere, wherever you're reading it from. That's not the truth. COVID, do a vaccine does uh, diminish the spread of COVID. The fewer people who get COVID, the fewer people that can spread it. So, um, Tony, num uh, November 2 is two year in remission. Maybe you're in remission as a cancer. If you are, 
I'm so happy to hear that we all are. Um, and Carlos, you said regarding how people are responding to, Fau responding to Fauci, you said people are very anxious, Doc, um, and they react in different ways. I agree. I definitely agree. I want, uh, uh, before we head out, I would love all of you guys to post in the comments if with your favorite emoji, emoji blah, 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 or a high five or a heart or whatever you want, um, your favorite emoji, if you got the COVID vaccine, if you, and if you got your booster, write in the comments that you got your booster, because I think it's so awesome. We're giving the booster in my office now. We're giving the vaccine. So if you got your COVID vaccine, put your favorite emoji. If you got your third booster, right? Third booster, favorite emoji. Um, if you got your kids vaccinated, I want to know that too. This is my favorite, favorite part because I love seeing so many people getting their vaccine and the numbers are going up every single day. So we're doing it. You are doing it. Keep encouraging those around you to, I wanted to say like, go to the polls because <laughs> I feel like I'm like, go vote. It's our right. I kind of feel like that, although there's no election. Um, but it's, it's, it's uh, keep encouraging the people around you to get vaccinated and to do um, to do all that because you mean a lot to the people in your lives. I see all your comments and your emojis. I love this. This is awesome. And also make sure that you get your um, your flu vaccines as well. It's certainly flu season. By the way, just as a reminder, you can get the flu shot and the COVID vaccine on the same day. It is not harmful or dangerous to do that. And benefits of doing that is that you just get it out of the way. So if you feel so inclined, go ahead and get them the same day. I see all of you commenting boost is done booster flu shot favorite emoji i love the um i love the flower emoji so thank you um so yeah keep those comments coming look at you guys you guys are amazing and awesome kimberly your kids are vaccinated too whoop, whoop, holla. so fauci i mean you got my vote buddy i just have to say i don't think you said that christmas was canceled so just wanted to chat with my peeps which are you guys about that and see what you had to say about it, it seems like most of you don't think he said that Christmas was canceled either, which is a good thing. So um, anyway, uh, I uh, think you guys are amazing. Again, Facebook, thank you for the stars. YouTube, thank you for the super chats and the super stickers. And I'm so glad all of you are putting in your favorite emojis because you got the vaccines and you're telling the world that you did. And I love it. So. All right, guys, I will be back with more videos. Assuming Facebook does not go down tomorrow, you'll see more videos from me tomorrow, so stay tuned. Also, the CDC and FDA will be meeting, the CDC will be meeting soon to discuss the boosters for other uh, vaccines, uh, the vaccines for kids. There's a lot of votes that are coming up, so hopefully we'll get more approvals as well very soon. Guys, as always, I love you. Congrats on all the good work. Round of applause. Bravo and bravo. All right, love you guys. Mm. All right, YouTube, you guys are amazing. I love you. Bye.